guys one man one camera today i wanted to come down to evil pie check out their pizza and so today i wanted to, usually i order pepperoni wherever i go but today i wanted to try their um rattlesnake sausage if you can believe that so let's see how this goes and take a look all right here we go it's okay <clears throat> how's everyone doing evil pie is kind of a staple now down here at the uh in the uh fremont street area it is hot today i'm sitting in the back area because uh it's kind of dark on the inside as so many, as so many places are these days so luckily i'm out here all alone and how is everyone doing so this pizza seems to be cooked fairly well you know i wish there were more sausage pieces on here I am a carnivore, you know, or omnivore. Hang on, let's see. There we go. Looks better? All right. Lousy dynamic range on this camera. Ooh. What's interesting is that, um, in case you don't know, this place is called Evil Pie. And I believe um, one of the late Evil Knievel's children is part owner or owner of this place. I don't know exactly how it all works with his, uh, her percentages, whatever. I don't know. Okay, anyway, I can like in uh, 1971, there's a movie called uh, Evil Knievel with George Hamilton playing Evil Knievel. I enjoyed the movie. However, at the beginning of the movie and the end of the movie, there are monologues, opening monologue and a closing monologue. When I was a kid, I um, broke out the old tape recorder and I tape recorded the opening monologue and the closing monologue and I memorized them. So, um, a while ago, going to YouTube, and I saw the movie was on YouTube. Oh, hey, all right. And so, you know, hit go, turn it on. Let me tell you something. I remembered like 75% of that monologue. I was very, very surprised at that, you know? Very, very surprised. But uh, yeah, interesting, yeah? And y'all surprised I remembered so much of it. So but it's weird how the memory works because this was a lot of years ago. And I guess maybe I played it so often, repeated it so often, it's stuck in the old noodle. You know, I should do it here, but I'm shy. Ladies and gentlemen, you have no idea how good it makes me feel to be here today. It is truly an honor to risk my life for you, an honor. Now, before I jump my motorcycle over these 19 cars and a couple of trucks, and I want you to know, there's not a Volkswagen or a Datsun in a row, in the row. Before I sail cleanly over the last truck, I want to tell you that last night, a kid, a kid, came, a kid came up to me and said, Mr. Knievel, I think you're crazy. That jump you're gonna try is impossible, but I already have my ticket because I wanna see you splatter. That's right, that's what he said. And I told that kid last night that nothing was impossible. Now they probably told Christopher, Christopher Columbus to sail around the world was impossible, and they probably told the Wright brothers to fly was impossible, and they probably told Neil Armstrong to walk on the moon was impossible. All right, anyway, there's more, but hey, I don't wanna bore you, all right? Good movie, I enjoyed it. This is 70s, it's kind of dated, whatever, but it's all right. Good chance, Evil Knievel with George Hamilton. It's on YouTube somewhere. So hey, you haven't seen it? You heard it here first. So I give Evil Pie credit because um, they built a strong name, quality pizza, good service, good location. Give them credit. Well. Good prices. You know, hey, what else could you want out of pizza? All right, you guys. So if you're in town, in Vegas, in downtown area, you want some pizza, just grab a slice or a whole one, whatever. I usually buy about a slice. Um, the only whole pizzas I ever buy really are Little, little Caesars. Five bucks, what can you say, right? But um, if you're downtown, you want some pizza hanging out, whatever, come on down to uh, Evil Pie, located on Fremont Street East. It's just a hop, skip, and a jump from the uh, Fremont Street experience, you know? Good service, and voila. So if you see me down there, say hello, and I'll say hello back. Take care, wherever you are, and grab some pizza. Pizza pie.